डायनामिक इट्स ऑलरेडी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टेंडर मास सिलेंडर अगर आप ये वीडियो हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो अगले थर्सडे को मैं इस वीडियो को हिंदी में पब्लिश करूंगा आप इस वीडियो को तब भी देख सकते हैं टेंडर मास सिलेंडर हैज द सेम वर्किंग एज दैट ऑफ द मास सिलेंडर बट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेंडर मास सिलेंडर एंड द मास सिलेंडर इज दैट इट कैन प्रोड्यूस डिफरेंट प्रेशर at different ports but in case of the master cylinder the pressure is same on all the ports so so due to that you need to do the external biasing of the master cylinders because you 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 need different pressures at different wheels but in this case you don't need uh, to do the external biasing the tmc is pre biased so we will discuss how the pressure is different on the different ports but the disadvantage in this tmc is that the biasing is fixed you cannot change the biasing ratio as you can change in as you can change in the master cylinder so this is the brake pedal and this is the push rod this is the rubber boot then this is the these are the pistons this is the internal push rod this is this is the spring this is this blue dots are the brake fluid this is the brake fluid container and this is the brake fluid inside it so this is the casing this is the uh, ports which will be connected to the brake line so these are the ports which will be connected to the brake fluid container and this is the connection diagram of the tmc so when you apply the mechanical force at this brake pedal this mechanical force tra travels through this brake pedal to this push rod then this force travel uh, inside this tender mass cylinder and when this force is applied on this piston the area of this piston is a2 so the pressure created inside this region will be is equal to force upon my area that is area a2 and then the force travels through this internal push rod to this piston piston 1 so the pressure created in this region by this piston will be is equal to force upon my area a1 so the pressure p1 will be is equal to f upon my a1 and pressure p2 will be equal to f on f upon my a2 since a1 is less than a2 therefore p1 will be greater than p2 therefore in this way you can achieve p1 and p2 different by changing the bore dia of this tmc you can achieve different pressure at different ports in case of the mass cylinder since the piston are of same dia so the pressure created by at both of the ports is similar so in this way you can achieve different pressure at the different ports so let us come to this connection so let us assume this is the four port tender master cylinder so at the time of braking the maximum of the forces comes on the front wheel because of the weight transfer so higher pressurized fluid must be given to the front wheel so that it can, it can produce that much brake effort which can stop these two wheels and the lower pressurized fluid will be will be given to the rear wheels so in this way the wheels can be locked but you can also lock the alternate wheels alternate wheel so that the skidding can be prevented because if the front wheels are locked then there may be the chances of the skidding and due to that skidding there, there will be instability in the vehicle so in that case you can lock the alternate wheels so high pressure fluid will be given to the alternate wheels so i think this is all about the tender mass cylinder if you still have any doubts and any queries you can please ask me in the comment section below if you like this video please share it to your friends so that i can get it to them also if you didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe on that red button you can you must please click that button and also that bell sign so that you can get notify about my new videos please thanks a lot guys for watching my video please keep sharing keep supporting and keep watching guys thanks a lot